the cartoons follow us. So we're in our basement in the new house. Got everything set up for the most part. We gotta do the walls yet. There's our big sign. That's my office right there. Back here's Theo's playroom. You've probably already seen this because I probably released a little tour already. But I'm going to wait a little longer till everything's set up. Oh, I didn't even realize she did put up all the wall stickers already. That's awesome. We've got his little play area back here. He's got all his toys and all his books. He's got his couch. Looks like Cookie Monster is a little bit <laughs> all over the place right now, but that's okay. So my project for right now is my office. I gotta put my desk together and arrange everything in here. I think that table's going back to my mom and dad's basement. Uh oh. Sounds like somebody's not going down for a nap without a fight. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be working on. Oh, you're right here. I didn't even hear you come down. He won't nap. Theo. He got nothing done today. <laughs> Theo. What are you doing? You're tired, man. You just want to watch cartoons all day, don't you? <laughs> So, it was no go on the nap. He's not going down for a nap. So, we're gonna run our errands now. We have to run uh, around town, get a whole bunch of stuff done. Gotta go pick up our uh, you know, keys for our new mailbox and stuff. Gotta go get uh, a new shower head for the downstairs bathroom here. Uh, that's, that's, that's my bathroom. I have my own bathroom. And then tonight we're gonna work on this office and we're gonna get caught up on all my vlogs because as of filming this right now, I haven't edited any vlogs of the move yet. I haven't even released them, edited them, nothing. I haven't even released the last video of me getting home from my last trip yet because I put everything on hold so that we can get this all done. Now I've gotta play some catch up and get some videos released to you. <sighs> so I don't know how that's all gonna turn out, but I do know that tonight I am getting this office set up. Oh, I have a closet. I didn't even realize that. I haven't had any time to really explore. It's just one project after another, after another, after another. We got the fence done outside yesterday with my dad. Thank you, dad, so much. There's nothing that he can't do. So I told him I needed a fence and pretty much snaps his fingers and there it is. I don't know how he does it. Oh, man. Oh, okay, we can't open this all the way. Oh, I forgot my coffee was here. Some shelving in there. I'll show you that later, I guess. And a big thank you to my mom and my sister, Cheryl, as well, who came and helped us move, get everything moved in, get everything unpacked, uh, helped Britt get everything in its place upstairs while I was doing other things. You know, every time you move, or every time I move anyways, I really realize how great of a family I have. And I have to give a special thank you to Jerry and Cynthia as well, who were here to help unpack things as well on our move-in day. Like all around, both sides of the family. What can you say? What's the word for it? Blessed? Got a, got a great family. And uh, Britt's mom, Kathy, and her boyfriend, Gary, are coming down uh, tomorrow. So they get to see the house then. And excited to show, show them it as well. I think some more family members are showing up tomorrow. So big thank you to everyone who helped make this possible. This is, uh, we're very happy. Exhausted, but very happy. We've had a lot, a lot to do, and there still is more to do. We can't sit still. And I gotta pack away and get the whole garage organized yet so we can get Britt's vehicle inside the garage yet for the coldest part of winter at least, right? Oh, we need to get a heater for in the garage as well. That's right. It's insulated, but you need to, it has a, you need a separate heater for in there. Can't forget, we're going to town now to get a few things. I guess I've got to put on people pants if we're going out in public. Not just my sweats. Who am I kidding? I wear sweats out in public all the time. But you never see me. Do 
Asia. What's going on in here? Just reapplying the diaper we checked and it's not even dirty enough to change yet. Nice. Actually, we're gonna change the outfit though. New outfit, all right. So here you can see the fence from yesterday outside. See, just close off the back end there and all the way around. But all the bottom blocked off. I don't know if you can see the ones way over there as well. So the little guys can't get out. But much more space for the big guys to chase each other around though too. Fantastic. I'm so tired though. Everybody ready to go outside? You guys all want to go outside? Wiener, let's go outside. Let's go outside. Great. This place is so much bigger, we gotta go find the dogs. Come on, let's go outside. He was right. asleep. <laughs> you sleeping, buddy? Such a big house, I have to come find you. No, 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 outside is not that way, buddy. This way. There you go. No, no, that's not outside either. That's, that's not outside. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take you out real quick. Wonderful, wonderful. Further away from the house. Further away from the house, little guy. If I let one of you pee near the house, all of you are going to pee near the house. Oh, what are you doing back here lagging behind? Get into the yard, bud. Into the yard. There you go. There you go. So you got to scare them away from this little area here. Otherwise, of course, it's cold out, right? So they come out here and they want to pee like right here. And what do the other dogs do? As soon as they smell that, they all come and mark this whole area here. And then right by the house, it smells like pee. Not good. So, be gone. Bring that stuff over there. Well, look at this though, eh? Like, this has got to be four times the size of our other yard. At least three times. Like, one, two, three. Like, one this way, one there, one back there. Yeah, it's got to be, what, three times bigger? At least... I'm thinking. And it's so nice to be able to just, you know, let the little guys out here too and not have to worry. See, this is just temporary, so don't, don't judge us. <laughs> just temporary. We had some, Dad had some extra wood. We just sealed up the bottom. And in spring, we're getting the rest of this fence done. So it's going to match all the rest. So it's going to be six foot. It's just going to continue from there all the way around back here to there. So we're getting that stretch done with a rolling gate in the center here. I think it'll be here, but it's going to roll that way, right? And this tree was dead when we moved in. So we got to transplant that, or not transplant it, but take it out in spring as well. We want to plant a new one in there. Yep, this is 36 and a half feet. Again, it'll do. It'll do until spring when we get uh, the professional to come in here and close it up and make it look pretty. So what do you think, Diesel? What do you think? What do you think? You want to play some games? <laughs> oh, shoot. I better not have these here. They're going to run right into these. Uh, I got to... Here. Better fix this. One second. There. They might still run into the side of it, but at least it's not going to poke their eye out, right? <laughs> that wouldn't be fun, right, Chef? <gasps> hey, Chef. It's like everything is so new. They have to sniff every square inch of this property. Chevy's pretty much got all of it. All of it down. The rest of these guys. What is this place? I didn't even know this outside existed. This is your yard now, Frank. It's all of ours. Good job, Chevy. You can have that tree. It's dead. I'm going to get a new one. Canucky Tire. Canadian Tire, we found ourselves here. So we got our keys for our new mailbox. And uh, we also got new little booties that were waiting in the mail for this little guy. So now we gotta go and find a whole bunch of stuff in here. We're looking for curtain rods, a towel holder, uh, 
anything else we find that we like. Maybe. <laughs> it stinks out here. You smell that? Oh, she's taking pictures of him. He's angelic. Such a mom. Takes like 5,000 pictures a day. Until the sun goes down, then she takes another 10,000. It's good though. I better get out there. I'll carry him. Oh, no, she's gonna carry him. She's a muscle woman. Okay. Not sitting in there talking to you guys. Wasting time. Oh, let's lock these doors. It does smell it here. It smells like a pig barn. Somebody cleaned out their barns near town. You got him? Yeah. He's getting heavier you want me to, and heavier though. Oh, want me to take him? No. Good workout. Okay. Yes! That's season, everybody. I get four? I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, we're back home. We got the little guy here jamming out. Hey, bear. It's always a hit. Those of you who have uh, young kids, am I right? Hey, bear. If you haven't seen this stuff yet, go on YouTube and look up Hey, bear. It is like catnip babies. Look at this guy. <laughs> Just loves it. I don't want to get copyright from that music, so I'm going to go back in here. So, I got a bunch of errands done today, and a uh, whole bunch of stuff done. Now, finally time for the office. Sun's gone down already, but that's no surprise. It's that time of year. The sun goes down so early, it's uh, depressing. It's only 6.30, I think. Man, and oh, in a couple of days, we do that that daylight savings time. You guys do that where you are too? Most places do, right? Daylight savings time, I hate it. Because tomorrow, day after tomorrow, whatever, whenever that switch is switched, it'll be that dark outside at 5.30 in the afternoon. It's the only bad thing about this Christmas season, but at least you have Christmas. And you know, that's why people set up Christmas lights. Even if you're not, you know, of the faith to celebrate Christmas, Christmas can also be a secular holiday as well for all the rest of you. The reason people light up their houses and light up their trees and everything during Christmas is that's right near and around the winter solstice, the shortest daylight hours of the year. You light up all your lights to cheer people up and to remind people that longer days are ahead. Longer daylight hours are ahead. You keep them cheerful, light up their life. So get out there and get those Christmas lights on your house. Don't turn them on until after Remembrance Day or Veterans Day for Americans. But after that, actually, wait, wait, wait. In Canada, after Remembrance Day, November 15th, fair game, turn on all your lights because it gets dark outside so early. That way it'll cheer up your neighbors. They'll see your lights, makes up a little bit for being dark so early, right? If you're in the US, if you're an American, wait till after Thanksgiving. Totally understand that. You guys do your Thanksgiving in November. We've already done ours, gotten that way out of the way, so it's all Christmas for us now, right after Remembrance Day. So remember, Remembrance Day, Veterans Day is coming up. Make sure that you take that time to honor and remember all of the fallen soldiers and all of the currently serving soldiers here in Canada and also with our allies abroad. That was weird. I just started filming and that speaker started doing something. Interesting. Who are you? Oh, it's my wife's phone is hooking into my speaker. One second. Hey, hon. Yeah, I got it. Your phone is hijacking my speaker. I know, I just figured that out right now. Okay. <laughs> it was random. <laughs> 
if she connects to my Bluetooth speaker, the next time I turn it on, it automatically connects to her phone. And she already has her music playing upstairs. So it shuts off her music upstairs and then sends it down here to my speaker. <laughs> You gotta be careful because those hay bear songs will get stuck in your head all day. Joshua! Come here. You like your new home? You like your new Diesel, this is our home. This is our home. What do you think? This is our forever home. Yeah, we're never moving again. I will do everything in my power to make sure we never, never move again. Yeah. Oh. I'm glad you got to see it. I was worried that, uh, you know, he's getting old. He's uh, 12 years old now, and he's having a hard time. I kind of have to help him get up the stairs when he wants to go up. Looks like he might want to go up now. No, he's chasing his tail. He's good. He has a little bit of a hard time getting up the stairs now already. I sort of have to help him up. I'm hoping that's just because we've never had stairs before. And we lived in such a small house with a smaller yard that he just needs the exercise. So, I think he wants to go. Diesel, you want to go upstairs? You need me to help you? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. Marcello, stop telling people that, man. Not O12 is like the new 7. Okay. If you say so. But uh, I am glad that he got to see this home yet before it was too late. Yeah, we've been together every day for a long time, mate. Two buddies, two buds, two brothers, two bros. Yeah. yeah. All right, I got to keep doing my office here, man. I have to set up my desk so I can make some vlogs. And go up. Go, 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 go. I got you, I got you, I got you, buddy. Go on, I got you. Good job. Chef, you wanna come downstairs with me now? Come on. He was super scared to go down the stairs because he's never done stairs before, right? And then once he mastered, he did it once. Now look at him, come on, Chef. Like a boss, no problem. When we first moved in, he uh, he couldn't go down the stairs. <laughs> I almost literally had to push him down the stairs. Like I wasn't gonna like hurt him and push him down, but I had to like aggressively encourage him to you yeah, know just do it, man. You can do it. Oh, now look at him. Look at him. You wanna go back upstairs? There. Okay. No one likes to be downstairs with me. They don't want to be upstairs with mom. Thought I was the fun parent. I'm the one that gives more treats. That's true. <laughs> well, I got Theo, so. Fair enough. He's the best company. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> You want to show me your new noises? Show them. <sighs> blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Your turn. No? <laughs> your turn. <laughs> you got it. <gasps> <laughs> here, I'll get the volume bag on here. There you go. There's your catnip. Another vlog edited and done. I'm just taking a look here on my computer. Here in my office. I have an office. Woo! Let's see. How many do I have left yet? 
Beach. I got another one coming up. Us cleaning the house. Yep, that, that one I have one there. I have another one here. Okay, it's so another two. Of, or three. There are two or three of us here at home yet before I uh, head, head back on the road. So uh, I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, this is a big sort of moment, a big week in our lives. This is, a move is always uh, a big change and a big life event. You know, we always remember the day. That's the day we move in. And so we got it all on, on film now. So thanks for being a part of it and being a part of our lives. I gotta get to editing these other videos now, so I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button, consider subscribing, and stay tuned. There's more coming.